Firstly, click subscribe and comment below if you appreciate these videos. My views are down and well, so am I. So I need your support guys. In the meantime, let's unbox the new Eosheen QX90C Pro. So we're on a bit of a roll with these brushed micro quadcopters at the moment, and this is the QX90C from Banggood. So let's have a look at what we get. So this one comes in between 46 to 65 pounds, that's 50 to 70 dollars, depending on which package you go for. And there are three different types. Here, I think we've got the standard edition. There's a basic one that's just basically the quad. There's also an advanced, which like the QX65 we reviewed last week, comes with charger, batteries, and pretty much everything you could possibly need. So let's have a look inside the box. And it is packaged quite nicely. We get an instruction manual, first of all, which as usual talks about binding it to our transmitter. Then we've got the little quadcopter and that's really really cute. Comes with a battery installed underneath it. We'll have a look at that quad in a sec. Let's just finish off looking at what's in the box. We've got a USB charger so that's your typical USB charger that you plug in and it will charge most with a JST connector. In this standard version bundle you also get two more batteries so you get three in total and they are 1S 600 milliamp batteries. You get a set of spare props and there are, yeah, that's just one spare set there. And also a prop removal tool. That's quite handy because getting these little props off can be a nightmare. And finally, you get a little screwdriver as well for probably undoing the lid so that you can service it or maybe bind it to the transmitter. So there are the accessories you get. Unfortunately, we've got nothing in the bottom there. If we had the advanced version, we would be getting a charger and more supplies and spares, but we don't get that. So anyway, that's the accessories. Let's take a look at the quad in more detail. So here is the little QX90C, and I've always been a fan of the Eosheen brushed indoor quads. Might remember some time ago, we reviewed the QX100C, an absolutely brilliant little indoor brush quad. And this, I guess really in some respects, is its successor, despite it being smaller. Now that was about a year ago, and they've come a long way, as we will see when we look in closer detail at this. So its construction is all plastic. These arms are nice and flexible, which should be good if we crash in to anything. This package doesn't come with any prop guards, but you can probably find some generic prop guards from another quad that will snap straight onto these motor holders here. Now there are three different receiver options when you order this, DSM2, FlySky or FRSky. I've got the FRSky version. The first thing I noticed that I really don't like is the RX antenna sticking out the front like this. Um, it just seems a bit clumsy. Uh, we will have a look at that in more detail later, but that could possibly be a vulnerability. But in general, the construction of this quad feels pretty good. It's quite robust. And what I do like is that the VTX and its little antenna there are all very solid and stable and protected. Most of my indoor brushed quads, the reason they've died is because the VTX, the camera or the antenna uh, for the VTX have taken a battering and that's basically killed it. So I do like the way that all of these components are protected. Now the quad only weighs 50 grams, that's with the battery attached. I've taken the battery off, but it's got a nice battery holder rather than just an elastic band, which I also really like. 50 grams is a really good weight for a quad of this class as well. So we should get some fairly good performance. On the underside, we've got the flight controller just exposed, which is an F3. It's got an inbuilt OSD and it's running Betaflight 3.2.2. So fairly recent version there and great that it's got the built-in OSD. But one thing I really do like is hiding underneath this cover. And I'll show you that shortly. Above that flight controller inside here, we've got the VTX and the camera. So it's a 25 milliwatt VTX. It's a 48 channel switchable. And there is just in this little gap here, a tiny little button that you can access on the VTX for changing the channel and also the band. Attached to that VTX is the camera, which unfortunately is a CMOS camera, uh, but it's a 600 TVL and it does have an adjustable angle as well, which is quite unusual on a quad this tiny. You adjust it by just undoing these two tiny screws on either side, and that will then allow that camera and the all-in-one VTX to tilt slightly, but only around 15 degrees, not a great deal. 
The speed controllers are built into the all-in-one flight controller and you can see the wires coming out of them into the tiny little coreless motors here. They're 8520 Black Edition brushed motors. So should get some decent performance. Uh, the props fitted to those are 55 mil Ladybird props actually. So quite nice. You could actually put some slightly bigger props on those potentially, but not sure if you'd actually get any performance gain that'd be worthwhile. On the rear of this quad, no LED lights, but there is the tiny little USB port there for programming it and of course the JST connector as well for connecting the battery to this little quad. So what I do really like actually is if we just pull these tiny little clips here to the side the whole top pops off just like that and that now exposes the VTX and the camera unit as well so if you want some more access to that that's easy to replace and most importantly the bit that I'm really impressed by is hiding inside here is a tiny little micro piezo buzzer unusual to get a buzzer on a tiny little brushed quad like this but Brilliant, really pleased to see that and so glad that buzzers are now becoming a standard feature of tiny little ready to fly quads like this. Also just to the rear of the quad near the antenna here, you can see the little bind button as well that you'll need to hold down when we bind this to our Taranis transmitter. So yeah, really nice that you've got easy access into this quad and overall quite a nice little unit. So we reviewed the QX65 last week, that was awesome and that was a great package as well that came with it. It's going to be very interesting to see just how well this one performs. So next we'll be binding it to our Taranis and then setting it up ready for its flight test. But that will be in part two, which will be live in just a few days. Links to the QX90C Pro are in the video description, so go and take a look. Also click subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.